Okay, so I'm going to take you through um, re-encoding a video to make it more likely to play successfully in PowerPoint. Um, so the program we're going to use is this Microsoft Expression Encoder 4. Um, I'll send you that. In fact, it's this one. I'll send you that um, over so you can install it. When you install it, you might also need to install the .NET framework or something, but it will pop that up. So we're going to go for a transcoding project to encode our video uh, using this VC1 codec. Hopefully this will load up. Okay, now I'm going to um, code transcode one of the uh, videos on the DVD. So if I have a look in the DVD and the video folder, I'll just choose one of these. Now I've already done a couple of these. So if I just preview this one in VLC, we'll see if it's... She first got involved in gangs age just there. Yeah. The okay, police. so I haven't done this one yet. So we can drag that into uh, Expression Encoder. Now the important thing is the, the settings. So I've been going for Output Format Windows Media. Whoops. Um, format VC1 Main and audio just WMA for the video I've been using an unconstrained variable bitrate um, apparently 10 second keyframe is uh, preferable, don't know why you can set the bitrate to whatever you want for the other ones I went for a bitrate of 8000 uh, KBPS, which is, seems good enough. I would set the size to be the size of the source, um, and I think that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I'm not sure about this four square pixels setting. Mm, we'll leave that off for now and see how that pans out. Now the audio, I'm pretty sure you can just leave that the way it is. Um, I tried changing the audio to variable bitrate and that didn't work before. So this should give pretty much a decent quality and it should hopefully play on any reasonably modern Windows machine. So those are the settings I've been using so far. The quality is pretty good for that. Um, so if I hit encode that's going to start encoding. Now it takes ages. Uh, it, it's going to do two passes. Uh, each pass is going to take about 10 minutes. So it's a fairly long job. If I just cancel that, the only other thing you need to know is where the, uh, where the file is produced. The end result, that's under the output tab over here. And it's going to put it in some crazy directory somewhere. So just copy that. Paste that into um, Windows Explorer. And you should find it. It will be the most recent one. So in this case, it's this one. But obviously the video isn't there. Because I, I cancelled the encoding. So anyway, hopefully by using this expression encoder, you can encode the video to WMV which I'm informed is probably the best format. Uh, you can then embed that into directly into the PowerPoint. It will play from directly within the PowerPoint and hopefully uh, be a bit better than having to run it off the DVD. So give that a whirl and see how it goes.